Hey, what is going on, good people? And welcome back to some more Broken Sword. Remembering so, the flower seller's advice, I pushed the door gently just above the lock. Friend. Hi. Yeah. Bonjour. There I'm we glad are. you could make it, monsieur. Uh, please, uh, call me George. Fine. I'm Nicole. Take a ah, seat, George. Confirmed. Right then. Let's talk business. Abia? And what have you been up to? I've been exploring the sewers underneath the cafe. I thought I could smell something bad. The clown used yeah, the sewer bad. to escape and to change out of his costume. I guess he was in a hurry. He left his jacket behind. And? I got his tailor's phone number. You had better luck than I did. Ah, uh, old Luck, Tottery, she said. Right? Luck. Hard work, I'd call it. What happened? My editor mm. told me to drop the story. Can you believe it? Oh, yeah, but that was what you're I not going to do too. that. Oh, no. I'm going to find out what's behind these killings. It just doesn't add up. It almost feels like some sort of conspiracy. Surely it is. in three different countries have kept very quiet about the murders. The press don't connect them at all. They blame them on political, religious, or militant minority extremists. Oh, well, that damn. covers just about everyone. Good old press. Uh, okay, let's show off the pockets first. This is the tool I use to get into the sewers. Fascinating, George. You're not interested, are you? Oh, of course I am. I think it was very brave of you to go down those sewers. Yeah? Well, it was kind of scary. At least he's Well, I had a job to do. Okay. You like my nose, girl? I found this false nose in the sewer. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's this inside it? Music The change. contents of someone's nose? Don't be cross, George. It says La Rite du Monde. Masks and costumes. Okay. It's a costume shop near the Gare Saint Lazare. I'll check it out. Maybe the owner the remembers the area the clown unlocked. costume. Give me that. Oh, she's gonna hate this. I found this tissue down the sewer. <laughs> That's disgusting, George. Oh I knew no, it. no! I think the stuff on it is grease paint, like actors use or clowns. Oh, it's still okay. disgusting. Get rid of it. Yeah, don't just leave wet sewer tissues on someone's table. That is a bad guest right there. I found a piece of material near the cafe. Oh, yo. When I showed it to the concierge, Another he recognized change. it right away. It's very distinctive, all right. Just wait until you see this. I developed the film I shot at the cafe. Here, George. It's an enlargement I made. Okay. Look what that guy is wearing. Checkered pants. Oh, we got him. The same material as I found in the sewer. That's right. This guy shouldn't be difficult to find. Oh, no? Take a close look we at his right cheek. Well. A scar in the shape of a horseshoe. Ah, that's or help. a crescent moon. Okay. How come you enlarged this photograph of me? Because I noticed what? the guy behind you, of course. Go on, George. Tell me more about the clown's previous victims. Okay. The first was Arnold Belotta, the Maybe millionaire pharmaceutical baron. He made his money from amphetamines in the post-war slimming and diet boom. Imagine it, millions of housewives literally speeding their butts off. Yeah, the only witness in the case was his Filipino au pair. She swears he was lured to his death by a snowman. What, what about the clown's second victim? Yamada, oh, yeah, the controversial Japanese snowman, politician. Course. He inherited his fortune from his father's electrochemical consortium. Oh, yeah, your How did he die? At the hands, or should I say flippers, of a giant emperor penguin. Weird. A snowman, a penguin, and now a clown. I had been about to add mine to the list, but stopped myself. I really didn't want to have to explain to George about my father's involvement oh, yeah, with Kashmir. You know, I hate to admit it, but this is scary. And I'll tell you this, I will not be accepting any invitations to costume parties. I don't blame Tactical. you for being scared. I am too. But this story could be my only chance for a big break. Okay. Or an early death. Right then. We'll just see what she's got to say. Tell me more about yourself. <sighs> There's nothing much to tell. Well, how'd you get into photography? I guess I owe that to my father. He bought me my first camera. Hey, I was eight, and support. my parents had just split up. Uh, uh, not sure I can be asked to hear a life story. That's a Did you live with your father? Yes. My mother went off with her new boyfriend. I didn't mind. Papa was all I needed. 
Four years okay. later, he died in a plane crash. Oh, oh damn. Lucky we got the camera. It's all right. I don't mind talking about him. He was more like an older brother, really. Always joking and laughing. Papa always wanted me to study art. That's why I went to college. Now, the only thing is, we've got a few things down here which have progressed the plot a bit. So this may just be complete filler, but you never know with these games. Did you learn about photography at college? Oh God, no. I couldn't afford the materials. We were billed for everything we used. Paint, canvas, paper. Cool. Most of That's my rough. year turned to minimalism. It was cheaper. I used to go poaching in the park for squirrel hair. Ew. The only time I wasn't hungry was the term I did printing. I used to eat the potatoes. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Yep. Oh, no. Hey, we're done. Nice. I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. Salut. Okay. Wonder is there any point talking to her again? Oh, Just hi. Bonjour. She's not my girlfriend. Oh. Maybe not yet. Double but click I feel paths entwined in the future. I doubt it. Shit, we didn't show her over this. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Oh, what a hunk. He's a killer. Damn. I can see that. His eyes stay tall. Do you recognize this nose? No, monsieur. No. Damn. What can you tell me about this tissue? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. See you later. That's right, me. Okay, so we've got a brand new area. So, so I think we're at Rougerie now. No, at least tomorrow is the new place. I mean, that's the cafe. Cool, let's go here first. Hey, nice. Talk to Sergeant Moon. Ah, Todrick. Hello? Who is this? Mr. Didn't Todrick? Didn't think we'd get another oh, chance. It's you again. What now? Hmm. Did you make a suit for a man with a scar on his face? A scar in the shape of a crescent moon? Very specific question. Maybe. Maybe not. Tell me where I can find him and I'll leave you alone. And if I don't, Damn. I won't leave you alone. I can't tell you anything unless you give me his name. Ah, uh, we don't know yet. Hmm. Um, okay. Thanks for nothing, Todrick. Damn. So without a name, nothing we can do. Let's have a look here. It was just some police paperwork, a search warrant. Okay. Excuse me. Not so fast. I'd like your personal details, please. Hey, we've uh, met already. What for? In the event of an accident. It would help us to know where to send the body. Oh, God, that's awful. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur, I do not. I have no memory what? for faces. Strange. I found this red ago. nose near the Café de la Chandelle Verte. A clown's nose? That's right. Yeah. The guy who wore this is a savage killer. killer. If you say so, monsieur. I found He's this tissue. He's gonna hate tissue. this, sure. I... What the hell is that? It's evidence. I... Evidence of what? Mayonnaise smuggling? <laughs> the sticky God, stuff awful. is grease paint. Ah. And that is supposed to make me happy, is it? I what? suggest you think long and hard okay. about what you are doing with your life, monsieur. Okay. Look, is this really necessary? I came in here to talk to Rosso. Ah, oh, why did you not say? He's not here. Uh, but oops. do you wish to leave a message for him? I have a choice of blue or black pen. I'd recommend the blue for Give me the blue. formal communication. I'd prefer to talk to him in person. As you wish, monsieur. Hmm. Is Sergeant Moo available? What? what? You want to speak to him? Yes, please. I cannot recall the last time someone asked to speak to Moo. No one ever speaks to him. Not even Oh, is that kids. not Moo? Oh, my bad. He is not here, monsieur. He is with Inspector Rosso. Damn. Like Laurel and Kitten. No, monsieur. Hardy. Oliver Norville Hardy. 
Didn't know he had a bit already. Thanks for your help, officer. Okay. Yep. Not much we can do here. That's it. Okay. We should definitely get a little shavedy shave. Uh, Two twenty and one. There we go. Right then, what can we look at? Gramophone, got ya. Interesting. Excuse me. Bonjour, monsieur. Please, Bonjour. come in. Welcome. Leave your mundane world behind. For in these oh man, I hope that doesn't go on for ages. Fantasy no, it's a good time. Is king. Uh, I don't want a costume. Didn't you ever dress up when you were a child? Not that I remember. Incredible! You'll be telling me next that you never shared your elder sister's lingerie. I don't have a what? sister, and I think I'd look pretty silly in a brassiere. I just need some information. Of would. course. How can I help you? Okay. So the picture's probably going to be lost. Does this dirty tissue mean anything to you? Ew. Hmm. Let me smell that. Do not smell old sewer tissues. Best Imer's number seven, white pancake. Theatrical grease paint, right? Yeah. Oh, oui, monsieur. La creme de la creme of Cespian accoutrement. Have you sold any of it we recently? Came to the right place. Yes, two can. Interesting. Have you heard of a man named Plantile? I do not recall any one of that name. Worth a shot. I'm looking for a man who hired a clown costume from you. Oui, monsieur. I do not see how I can help. Don't you keep a record of costumes that you've rented out? Of course, monsieur. Yeah, but, that would be uh, really helpful. Well, then I'd like to check your records. Give me the names of everyone who's rented a clown suit. Impossible. Hmm. There are too many. Oh, yeah, without a name. It could be quite a vague search. Do you recognize this man? Ah oui, he was here this morning. That hey. is the man to whom I sold the grease paint. We I remember him. the scar on his face. He chose two costumes. Bozo the clown and Seamus the pixie. Pixie? A pixie? Very smart. Green silk with a taffeta lining. He gave me his name as Monsieur Khan. Khan. Okay. Do you want this red nose back? Not after Ew. it's been worn, thank you. May as well. What does this tool mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. Shit, we exhausted Thanks everything. Thanks for your help, buddy. My, allow me to shake you by the hand. Huh? Uh, well, okay. Hmm. What? Oh, a buzzer, is it? What are you trying to do, kill me? You did not find it amusing? I never saw the funny side of electroshock therapy. He jumped Evian, pretty high. It is yours to keep. A gift? Do I need a license? No, but I give you a word of warning, monsieur. What? Okay. Remember to switch it off before you visit the toilet. Oh man, that is amazing advice. Yeah, I've just got to leave. No, we can't go back. Wouldn't have thought there's any point in being here. Cool. Uh, yeah, we could talk to Nicole again. Ah, cutscene, nice. Hi. Oh, hello. Damn, it wasn't a cutscene. Okay. The guy at the novelty shop gave me this. What is it? A hand buzzer. You put it in your hand and give people electric shocks. I Why? Like it a lot. It's a gag, a practical joke. I wonder how many people. If you ever use it on me, I'll break your arm. Okay, okay. Oh, yo. I get the picture. Yeah. 
loud and clear. I have to go. Okay, I I'll see you later. Go. Worth oh, a shot. hi. Hello. Would you like to shake my hand? No, I wouldn't. I can see the future, remember? Oh, no, she saw it coming. See you later. Then Hi. Oh, hello. Hmm. Guess that's it. Then. I have to go. Okay. Right. Let's have a look. So, no cafe, no Nicole. Please, it is. Ah, he's back. Top notch. Have a quick chin wag then. Ah, that looks more like Moo. Moo. Excuse me, Sergeant. What do you want now? Oh, God, this guy's so aggressive. Uh, we probably shouldn't shake his hand. Would you like to shake my hand, Sergeant? Not while I'm on duty, Monsieur. The gesture could be misconstrued. Yeah, he might also arrest us for assaulting a police officer. Do you recognize this dirty tissue? No, Monsieur, I do not. I found it in the sewer. Perhaps it would be better Ew. if you put it back there. No way! This what? could be an important clue. If you say so, Monsieur. <laughs> he does not believe us at all. I found this red nose in the sewer. What were you doing down there? Fishing for clues. That's where the uh -oh. clown went. Yeah, we you should... still insist you saw a clown, We should monsieur? be confessing to roaming around the sewer. And suicide, this novelty right? nose proves it. It will take more than a plastic proboscis to convince Inspector Rousseau. You don't want this as evidence, okay. then? Certainly not, monsieur. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. Damn. It's the guy who bombed the cafe. Would have been nice if they this did. This man looks nothing like a clown. He's taken off his grease paint and costume. Then there is nothing to link this man with the killing. Nothing? Ah, oh, Moo, you're brutal. Look at those murderous eyes. Mmm. Hardly likely to get him convicted. Yeah, true. Do you know a man named Khan? He's a shifty looking guy with a scar on his right cheek. No, monsieur. To show Has the this picture. man any connection with the bombing of the cafe? Yes. I believe. Khan was the name he used when he hired the clown costume. Man, I think I said this in a previous episode, but getting killed by a guy in a penguin costume's got to be rough. I know the identity of the dead guy. His name was Plantow. Is that so? You knew him, did you? No, but... We'll know everything there is to know mm. about him soon enough. I'm trying to be helpful here. The best way you can help us is to go home, monsieur. What? How is that helpful? Is Rosso here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Yeah, get me away from Moo. Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. Okay, so unless we've missed something big, it's so about, monsieur. this should be the he way to progress. insists on talking to you yeah. again. Did he say what it was about? No, monsieur. Very well. Hmm. Hi, Inspector. Remember me? How you but doing, of doing course, Mr. Stobard. My mind is a well-ordered faculty. A mental classification system that's the envy oh, yeah. of the Bibliotheque Nationale. He's got Nationale. psychic powers, he reckons, No right? tricks, mark you, monsieur. Just exercise. Just as our muscles waste through what? inactivity, so our minds decay. Get on but there you. is no need. If only people would learn to exercise their wits. They... If he was trying to impress me, it worked. He was pompous okay. and patronizing, but he had style. And he does, eh bien, he does walk if you called about the bombing, you're too late. Investigations have been closed, but I have been taken off the case. What about the murderer, the dead guy? Okay. It is out of my hands. Did you find out Don't the ID it. of the guy who was killed in the explosion? I already knew who he was. Is it? 
I heard that the bomb victim's name oh, was Clanton. The old special task. Your sources are reliable. He was a big shot at the Treasury, wasn't he? Maybe that's why you've been taken off the case. I'm sorry, Monsieur. I cannot comment. Ah, a bit of music. Don't you want to know what I found out about the killer? I told killer. you, Monsieur. The case is closed. I have washed my hands of the whole affair. Then I'll have to continue but my investigations long? without your help. No. You must forget the business of the clown completely. Go back to being an ordinary it's tourist. Go down. He's just dropped the case. Okay. So long and. Damn. What do you suppose hmm. this tool is used that would for, Sergeant Moo? It looks like something an obstetrician would use, Monsieur. It was with tools like this hmm. that the clown made his escape. I don't understand. He opened up the hole and disappeared into the bowels of the earth. If you say so, Ew. Monsieur. See you later, Sergeant. Okay. Potentially Todrick again, but I wouldn't have thought so. Hello? Who is this? Mr. Todrick? Got oh, it. it's you again. What now? The man I'm looking for nice. is called Khan. He bought a suit from you, remember? Mr. Khan. Yes, ah, I remember him. Yes, I Delicious delivered the suit to his hotel. The Hotel Ubu. Uh, I uh, Ubu. don't remember the room number. It was upstairs. The second room on the right-hand side of the corridor. Good Thanks, intel. Todrick. That's all I wanted to know. Now I've got you, Mr. Clown. Okay, I'm going to guess we never have to speak to Todrick again, which would be nice. Hotel Ubu, go on. Oh, yeah. These guys look a bit unsavory. Let's have a look around here first. Anything? No. Okay. Hmm. Right, guys, yet again, I think that might be two episodes in a row where we did not have to use a hint or walkthrough, which is extra tasty. But we have a brand new area. So let's take advantage of that. Um, Yell cut is slightly earlier than usual today. New area and a bit tired. So bang, job done. Of course, guys, if you like the looks of any of the suggested videos flooding your screen at this very second, Check some of them out, and more importantly, let me know what you thought, because sword of broken feedback is always good. Um, speaking of, if you missed any of the BS adventures so far, then catch up. But the main thing is, as always, guys, I hope you're well. Thanks for watching, and see you again next time.